Hello everybody. Hi, I'm Jewel and welcome. Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is research finds more than half of patients with abnormal kidney function not getting timely follow-up. This information is coming from the National Kidney Foundation. So let's get started. Paper cites reasons including physicians, high workloads, and electronic health record design as key challenges to patients getting timely follow-up tests. On July 16, 2019, a team of investigators studied electronic medical data on more than 200,000 of adults and found that 58% of patients with a newly estimated glomular filtration rate, EGFR, were not getting timely follow-up testing after an abnormal result. Reasons for this are varied and include physicians' workload and electronic health record design. The study titled, Follow-up Abnormal Estimated GFR Results Within a Large Integrated Healthcare Delivery System, a Mixed Method Study, was funded by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, AHRQ, and will be published in the National Kidney Foundation's American Journal of Kidney Disease, which is AJKD. Lack of timely follow-up of abnormal test results can lead to diagnostic or treatment delays, said lead investigator Ken Danforth, SCD MPH of the Department of Research and Evaluation, Kaiser Parmenti, Southern California. We sought to determine how frequently gaps in timely follow-ups of abnormal creatinine slash EGFR tab results occur and to identify potential reasons for those gaps. Our goal was to identify ways to improve test follow-up in the future. An abnormal test results may indicate that the kidneys are not working as well as they should, but can also occur when the kidneys are healthy and follow-up testing is needed to identify patients with kidney disease. The EGFR test is the best way to estimate the level of kidney function and determine what further tests are needed. The earlier kidney disease is detected, the better the chance of slowing or stopping its progression. Physicians reported high workloads and challenges and challenges managing lab test results within the electronic health care record, which is EHR, which is important given growing concerns regarding burnout among primary care physicians. Efficient processes for managing test results is critical. The investigators' results suggest that better systems and processes are needed to support patients and providers and improving lab test follow-up, consistent with research in our health system. Our study suggests that increasing team-based management of lab test results may help improve follow-up abnormal results, Danford said. The important study should serve as a wake-up call for healthcare organizations nationwide that ordering lab tests will only change patients' outcome if the results trigger action, said NKF Chief Scientific Officer Carrie Willis, Ph.D. National Kidney Foundation has developed a CKD package, change package, to assist providers in transforming their practices to meet this need. As a result of the study, Kaiser Permanente, Southern California, will be adding a flag within the electronic health records for abnormal EGFR lab results and working with physicians to develop systems to improve workflow. Danford said, Key, excuse me, KPSC, Kaiser Permanente, Southern California, also has an outpage study program, the SureNet program, which was implemented in 2010. The program serves as a backup system to notify patients when they are overdue for follow-up of abnormal cretin slash EGFR tests. Very good idea. These things that could be considered by other labs and healthcare systems as well. 
While prior studies have shown that harm is rare in these patients due to slow progression of disease, it is important to improve last lab test follow-up, Danford said. Despite automated notification of patients regarding overdue lab tests, there may be patient-related contributors to delay or miss follow-up that are understudied. Further research is needed to improve patient engagement and determine which patients are at greater risk or harm due to experiencing the gaps in the follow-up care, Damper said. Well, <laughs> everybody, this is research finds more than half of patients with abnormal kidney function not getting timely follow-up. We have talked about this before. The um, National Kidney Foundation has put out a program called the Change CKD Change Package Program, which talked about this problem with um, when it comes to um, CKD patients not getting the follow-up care that they really need. And as we have dis um, discussed before, um, I do not blame and I don't think that anybody should blame um, the uh, physicians for this problem because if you have went to your primary care doctor recently, you will see that your waiting room and waiting time has increased by tenfold and there are so many patients and one doctor to get through so many, um, so many situations with each patient that they come up with that it's very understandable that they can be overwhelmed by all the patients and the baby aging baby boomers and so many factors that are coming to the medical profession today. But the problem is not with the doctors, but from what um, the study is showing that the um, electronic um, healthcare records um, have a problem identifying um, people with um, CKD in their um, and their um, glomular, glomular, excuse me, filtration rate. And the problem is that the patients are not getting the information that they need in a timely fashion. But from what the, um, this study shows that there is people working on this problem to um, help CKD patients to do um, follow-up a lot more quickly, because as um, we know by now, the quicker that um, kidney disease is detected, the better it is to stopping its progression or slowing it down. And so, this is a very important um, this is a very important situation. But it looks like people are talking about it; they're working on the problem, and which should give all of us hope. You know, when it comes to um, our um, <laughs> physicians' offices going trying to find the right balance for all of us. So, guys. This is uh, research finds more than half of patients with abnormal kidney function not getting timely follow-up. And from what this article is talking about, people are working on the problem. But I also think that um, if there is um, programs that are working for people, you know, in certain um, states that they should probably be implemented with all states to make things so much easier for the doctors and patients to uh, figure out this um, this system with so many more patients that they have to deal with. So guys, if you found this information useful, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I am sending you so much love and affection. And as you see, there's so many people in the background working towards our better health and trying to find the best way to, um, to find the best way to uh, help all of us through our um, CKD journey. So guys, the only thing that we have to do is stay compliant, stay positive, stay hopeful, and know that hopefully one day this all shall pass and we will all be on the better road to health. So guys, take care of yourselves and I will see you on the next video. Bye.